the standard cell EMF uh, for this voltaic cell. So basically, I want to know uh, how much work I can get out of this cell. Okay, so I know, uh, as I looked it up, that uh, this got erased. So AG, this thing, when this goes forward, I have 0 0.80 volts. And then when this goes forward, they get negative 2.37 volts. Um, so I want to know, basically, uh, when I combine these two things together, what happens uh, to the overall volts, which describes to me uh, the potential to do work, how much work I can extract from that battery. The higher the volts, the more work I, I get, I can, I can potentially extract out of my battery. Great. To do that, okay, uh, this is going to be the equation for cell, for the cell. And so table 20.1 is going to be quite uh, helpful uh, when, when doing this. So it's going to be the standard, the standard for the cathode minus the standard for the anode. So I have not put this in the notes yet, so uh, in the PowerPoint. So this is going to be an equation you want to use. Okay, so if we if you look at the at the equation at the uh, at the um, potentials for the cells directly, we can just plug it in. It's really that simple. So for this particular cell, we already denoted which one is the cathode and which one is the anode. The cathode we said is going to be silver because that's where the reduction takes place. Uh, uh, yeah, so the reduction takes place, and so uh, I'll just put in 0 0.80 volts. Okay. And I'm going to subtract that of the anode, which is this, so negative 2.37 volts. And when I add that up, I get that it's 3.17 volts. So it's, it's, a, it's a bigger positive than this because this is getting uh, negated. So the larger this volt is, the voltage is, the more potential work at, for work I have. Okay, and let's look at, at another example in the PowerPoint. Okay, so consider a cell that has an electrode made of silver and another made uh, of mercury. And I want to know which one is the cathode and which one is the anode. So it's another example of what we just did. There's a little less complicated uh, and without the whiteboard. Okay, so I have this. So I already went to the table here and I extracted it for you so you don't have to do that. And uh, the standard cell, sorry, the standard EMF for this half reaction is 0.8 and for this is 0.85, meaning what? Meaning, again, to remind you, red cat and ox, the higher the number, the more it wants to be reduced. So this is the higher number. It wants to be reduced. This is going to be my, my reduction half reaction. This is going to be my oxidation half reaction, which means I have to flip it. i got to flip the top reaction. Uh, so let's write the balance thing. So I flipped the top thing. See, I flipped it because oxidation. This I left alone because reduction. I flipped it. And again, just as an equation uh, if, that we just showed, in order for me to add them up to get the balanced net reaction, I need two electrons, so I'll multiply this through by two. And then I add that up. And this is my balanced net reaction. Two Ag uh, solid will become aqueous, and mercury will go from aqueous to, uh, to a liquid. So this will get, be the one that's getting deposited, and this one's the one that's getting dissolved. All right. Uh, what's the standard cell EMF? Again, to remind you, uh, we said that uh, it's cathode minus anode. We denoted which one is the cathode. We denoted which is the anode. We can subtract it, and it's 0 0.05 volt, far less than the 3.17 we just showed in the other example. This is not going to give me as much work, and it's not going to probably work for as long. So uh, it's not as ideal. Okay? Uh, Right, uh, so uh, now we'll talk about uh, non-standard cell EMFs, uh, and so I, I, I direct you to the video to explain that.